Beloved, I greet you all in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Today, our focus will be on the powerful account found in Matthew 27, verses 32 to 54. In this passage, we witness the journey of Jesus Christ to Golgotha, the crucifixion itself, and its profound impact on those who witnessed it. Let us open our hearts and minds to receive fresh insights and a deeper understanding of the immeasurable sacrifice our Lord made on this memorable day as we delve into this narrative. Were you there? when they crucified my Lord. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Beloved, let us pray. Father God, we thank you for your word that does not come to you void, but accomplishes its purpose. And Father, as we delve into your word, let the Holy Spirit be our guide. Let the Holy Spirit be our teacher. Let the Holy Spirit settle in our hearts and lead us tonight. Father God, we thank you for your word. We thank you for everything that you have done in our lives. We glorify your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Good Friday holds a deeper significance in our face as we remember and reflect upon the crucifixion of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It is a time for us to set aside everything we hold dear and enter into the space of contemplation and worship. The crucifixion stands at the central event in human history, making the pinnacle of God's redemptive plan for humanity. It is an event that demands our attention, for it is through the cross that our sins were atoned for and reconciliation with God became possible. The crucifixion reminds us of God's love as Jesus willingly laid down his life for us, bearing the weight of our sins upon his shoulders. The crucifixion, a brutal and agonizing execution, was introduced into Israel by the Roman Empire and was reserved for hardcore criminals. It was a public spectacle intended to instill fear and deter rebellion. The crucifixion process involved nailing or binding the victim to a wooden cross, causing excruciating pain and slow, torturous deaths. By exploring the horrors of crucifixion, we gain a deeper appreciation for the immense physical suffering Jesus endured on our behalf. Golgotha, known as place of the skull, was where Jesus was crucified. This location held symbolic significance, evoking images of death and remind onlookers of humanity's fallen state. It was a place of public execution, strategically positioned to minimize visibility and serve as a deterrent. As we reflect on the crucifixion of Golgotha, 
Let us consider the powerful imagery, its profound implication for our understanding of sin, redemption, and the transformative power of Jesus Christ's sacrifice. As Christ embarked on his journey to Golgotha, the weight of the cross became too much for his weakened body. And Simon the Serenian was compelled to carry the cross for the Jew. In bearing the cross alongside Jesus, Simon symbolically shared in the suffering of our Savior. His presence reminds us that as followers of Christ, we are called to take up our cross, crosses and walk the path of discipleship, embracing the sacrificial nature of our faith. Jesus' act of carrying the cross holds profound symbolism. The weight of the cross represents not only the physical body, but also the weight of humanity sins. As Jesus bore the cross, he took upon himself the brokenness, shame, and guilt of us all. This powerful imagery reminds us that Jesus willingly embraced our suffering, offering himself as the ultimate sacrifice of our redemption. It underscores the selflessness and love exemplified by our Lord and challenges us to consider how to bear one another's burdens and live sacrificially. As Jesus made his way to Golgotha, a diverse crowd followed, each person responding in their own way. Some were filled with compassion, weeping and lamenting at the sight of Jesus' suffering. Others were indifferent or filled with mockery, adding to the weight of his agony. The crowd's reaction provided a glimpse into the range of human responses to the crucifixion. It invites us to reflect on our attitudes and actions. Does the depth of Christ's sacrifice move us or do we add to the weight of his burden through our indifference and mockery? Let us consider our response. As we journey alongside Jesus to Golgotha, meditating on the diverse reaction of the crowd and examine our hearts. During the crucifixion, Jesus encountered soldiers who offered him wine mixed with God, a bitter substance. This act was intended to humiliate further and mock him. However, Jesus refused to partake and during the full extent of his suffering without any numbing relief. His re rejection of the wine mixed with God replayed his unwavering commitment to follow to fulfill his redemptive mission, even in the face of immense pain. As Jesus hung on the cross, the soldiers cast lost on his garment. Little did they know that his seemingly mundane act held great significance. By fulfilling the prophecy in Psalm 22, verse 18, where it was foretold, 
that the Messiah's garment will be divided with Jesus affirming his identity as the long-awaited Savior. Even amid his agony, Jesus was fulfilling the scriptures and paving the way for the fulfillment of God's promises. Jesus endured relentless insults from those who witnessed his suffering. The religious leaders passes by and even the criminals crucified alongside him held insults and ridicule at the son of God. The words of mockery aimed at Jesus were a reflection of the hardness of human hearts. And despite this contempt, Jesus remained steadfast, embodying the love and forgiveness he preached. Darkness covered the land for three hours, shrouded in the earth in an eerie glow. This supernatural darkness was a powerful symbol of the cosmic significance of Jesus' crucifixion. It signified the weight of the world's sin and the separation between humanity and God. At that moment, the darkness encaps encapsulated the spiritual turmoil and the suffering Jesus endured for all humanity. It was a profound moment of darkness before the dawn of redemption. In this final moment, Jesus altered several statements that encapsulate the essence of his mission and the depth of his love. From his cry, my God, why have you forsaken me? To his declaration, it is finished. Jesus, last words, revealed his willingness to bear the full weight of our sin and his triumphant completion of the work of salvation. Each word spoken from the cross hold deep meaning and invites us to contemplate the magnitude of Christ's sacrifice. The crucifixion of Jesus profoundly impacted those who witnessed it, including a centenarian, a centurion in charge of the crucifixion. As Jesus took his last breath, the centurion alongside with other, others present, recognized that Jesus was truly the son of God. The centurion's response signifies the transformative power of Jesus' crucifixion, even on those who played a role in his execution. It serves as a reminder that the cross is a powerful symbol of redemption, capable of penetrating hardened hearts and bringing about a profound change. The cross is the central event that secures our salvation. It is through Jesus suffering and death that our sins are forgiven and reconciliation with God is made possible. Are we like Simon the Serenian who carried the cross willing to take up our cross to follow Jesus? Are we like the soldiers mocking or indifferent to the sacrifice of Christ? Or are we like the centenarian recognizing Jesus as the son of God? Let us humbly examine our heart and strive to align ourselves with the character that best reflects our relationship with Christ. Reflecting on the crucifixion, we must contemplate our response to Jesus' sacrifice 
on this and all other good Fridays until the Lord God Almighty calls us all. This we pray in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Beloved, let us pray. Father God, we thank you for your word that has penetrated into this heart in us. And as we go into our various homes, let the Holy Spirit be our teacher and keep reminding us of the sacrifices that our Lord Jesus Christ made on our behalf. And remind us also that it is through this sacrifice that reconciliation with God was made possible. Father God, we thank you. We glorify your holy name. We magnify your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray with us, giving. Amen. Amen.